Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Blue Origin goes live on their next launch this Friday. Cessna Pilot Association founder has gone west. FAA is addressing pilot mental health. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom, it's June 15th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. When Blue Origin launches the new Shepard suborbital rocket for the fourth time on Friday, you can watch it live. And according to GeekWire, that's a change for the space company founded by Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos. Compared to the other companies, can you say SpaceX? Bezos has kept his launch attempts out of the public spotlight until after the fact. But this shift may indicate that Blue Origin is becoming more comfortable with sharing its successes and potential failures with the world in real time. One aspect of Friday's launch is the intentional failure of one of the three parachutes used to recover the payload section of the spacecraft. The capsule will land under two good parachutes and use a retro rocket system just before landing to cushion the return to Earth if all goes according to plan. This is going to be exciting to watch. The Cessna Pilots Association has notified ANN that John Frank, CPA co-owner and founder, passed away on Thursday, June 9th at his home in Santa Maria, California. In its email notification, the association said, CPA as well as the aviation community has lost a true aviator with a wealth of technical knowledge and experience both in and out of the cockpit. According to the CPA website, Frank, one of the founders and executive director of Cessna Pilots Association, was a 15,000 hour plus pilot, as well as an A&P mechanic with inspection authorization. He was widely recognized as one of the foremost experts on Cessna aircraft. Frank had given seminars worldwide about Cessna aircraft and had consulted with the FAA and other government agencies. In addition, he is the author of three extremely popular buyer's guides on Cessna aircraft. He founded the Cessna Pilots Association in 1984. Weed ANN express our sincere condolences to John Frank's family. After the break, FAA and airlines look at pilot mental health issues. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The FAA is working with commercial airlines and pilot unions to improve mental health evaluations and encourage voluntary reporting of pilot mental health issues. Certain medical conditions such as psychosis, bipolar disorder, and severe personality disorder automatically disqualify a pilot from obtaining an FAA medical certificate. However, many pilots have conditions that are treatable, and several U.S. airlines already have programs that provide pilots with a path to report their condition, be treated for it, and return to the cockpit once the FAA has determined it is safe to do so. An aviation rulemaking committee comprised of aviation and medical experts has made many recommendations about the pilot medical fitness. These recommendations include that the FAA work with airlines over the next year as they develop programs to reduce the stigma around mental health issues. And the FAA will also issue guidance to airlines to promote the best practices about pilot support programs for mental health issues. The committee experts did not recommend routine psychological testing because there was no convincing evidence that it would improve safety. With some 2,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, 
Sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Errol TV classic episodes. Avalon was a system that we conceived of a number of years ago, have been working on, and we are trying to improve the uh, safety and efficiency of a flight deck as we go into the next five to ten years of change of airspace with NextGen. Sandell's Avalon program for the King Air is an example of engineering that approaches the avionics upgrade and the installation as a conjoined package. This video shows some fascinating innovation that can be applied to more than the King Air. After these messages, the Air Show isn't the only show at EAA Air Venture. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The aviation industry is full of news and we're summarizing some of the other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. We all know the air shows at EAA Air Venture are always great, but there's another show that provides a relaxing evening in the shade. It's called The Theater in the Woods, and EAA has released a fascinating schedule of subjects and entertainment. The FAA has proposed a $350,000 civil penalty against Amazon.com for allegedly violating the hazardous materials regulations. The FAA alleges that Amazon offered to UPS a package containing a one-gallon container of amazing liquid fire, a corrosive drain cleaner for air transportation. An airworthiness directive has been issued for aircraft equipped with what is commonly referred to as the Rotax 912A series engine. The AD has to do with the design change of the cylinder head temperature sensor without the correct model or identification numbers. A Chinese consortium has ordered 100 Airbus H-135 light twin helicopters, becoming China's first customer to form an industrial partnership to launch an H-135 final assembly line in China. The H-135 has gained popularity in China recently, performing various parapublic missions. The Academy of Model Aeronautics has released an updated analysis of the FAA's drone data. The analysis shows a decrease in the month-to-month -month reports of drone sightings by manned aircraft. Only 3.3% of reports specifically indicated a near miss or close call. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. At EAA AirVenture 2014, a Zenith CH750 was built with the help of numerous volunteers during the week of the event. That airplane continues to be known as the One Week Wonder. And now a similar event will take place in the UK with the building of a Sling 4 aircraft. According to the Light Airplane Association website, volunteers and representatives of the kit manufacturer, the airplane factory, are set to build an aircraft from a kit in seven days before and during the association rally in Northamptonshire, being held on September 2nd through the 4th. 
The challenge never set before in the UK will see around a dozen volunteers embark on the build in the week before the event, with the aircraft being constructed in one of the marquees forming part of the rally. Visitors to the rally will be invited to drop in to view the build and to also try their hand at riveting. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. From the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource, I believe I can fly.